is our Sadachi. Well, somewhere along here. This is the lovely little um, thingamy. Little thingamy. You get to it by it. Where is it? Somewhere around here, I think. That's handy. This is Asadachi here. Here it is, look. There. But they confirm that they are Asadachi, but they don't speak any English and they don't have an English menu. So going there would be a bit silly. Also, they're full. There's six people there, they're full. So after my pilgrimage to this place that sells grilled salamander, pig's testicles and probably a granny's corns, uh, it was all in vain, unless I suddenly learned to talk Japanese. I expect the people who wrote about it in Time Out probably had their Japanese friends with them, or perhaps they could speak Japanese or something, I don't know, but anyway, so um, don't bother with Asadachi, because unless you talk uh, Japanese, read Japanese, it's just pointless, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Hmm, there's one with a penguin. Let's just go somewhere, shall we? Have something, eh, somewhere. I ordered some sake, I hadn't had it before, it's rice wine, and I spilt it and uh, I got another one. And uh, But I drank some of the first one, and now I'm mildly pissed, just a little bit, because I'm not very good with alcohol. It tasted nice. And I had uh, Welsh dish, leeks and chicken. I did off, off, uh, order chicken hips, fried chicken hips, but apparently the chickens are out of hips, they're hip free. But I got this tweet now, which is um, vegetables and noodles and chicken, and I think there's cashews and things in there, it looks good. I spoke with a very nice American couple for a while. They're from LA, don't hold it against them. And we talked about things like uh, going to Mexico, nice places in the world, and whether Trump will build his wall. But now I'm gonna eat my food and turn this off. And um, I've got mineral water as well, which I haven't spilt. Isn't it funny I spilt the sake? And the American lady taught me how to eat these things. What you do, it's like a pea thing, and you, and you, um, you do this, you go, uh huh, and you sort of push it out the end. A bit like a dino rod, I suppose. Right, so I'll carry on with this and say goodbye. Now, this is quite interesting because these noodles are they're sort of crunchy uh, until they get in the gravy, then they're soggy. So I think they're fried and they put in the gravy. I've not encountered that before, and it's rather good. <laughs> so, what did I think of that then? I'll let the plate tell you. <laughs> Very good. We're just a matter of yards from that strange little alley with all those. Uh... And it's funny, you kind of wonder is it, is it, what, why are they still there? Why haven't they been brought up and squished down and huge things built? I don't know, but it's a real culture shock coming out of that alley into this environment. Right, culture shock over, fired up where the trade is. 